Welcome back to the Sibley Public Library Summer Adventure. We're going to take a look at the final section of our exposition in our Summer Adventure Journal, and that is about our secondary character. Every hero has someone in their story that helps them along on their journey, whether it's a best friend that stays by their side through thick and thin, or perhaps it's a grandparent that offers wisdom and knowledge. Secondary characters play an important role in the story as they provide additional background information and help the main character prepare for the final conflict. Take the quiz on the next page to determine what type of secondary character needs to be added to your story. Now, I love taking quizzes, so I included this one to find out what our secondary character should be in our story. So you're going to select your favorite answers from the three choices offered. So number one, you're going to select your favorite favorite storm. Is it a tornado, a thunderstorm, or a blizzard? Number two, you'll select your favorite time of day. Is it morning, noon, or night? Number three is your favorite color out of purple, green, and orange. Number four is in the classic game rock, paper, scissors, rock, paper, or scissors. Number five um, is your favorite snack. Is it cookies, ice cream, or chips? Number six, you'll select a favorite hobby. Is it art, sports, or music? And then finally, number seven is a form of transportation. You can choose sea, land, or air. Once you have your choices, we're going to record your answers down here. So for number one, I selected C. For number two, I chose noon for B. Three was A. Four was B. Five, I had a B. Six, I had a C. And seven, I also had an A. Now you'll put your answers there and you'll count up which letter you have the most of. So I have one, two C's, one, two, three B's, and only two A's. So I have the most of the letter B. On the next page, you'll see if you answered mostly A's, your secondary character should take the form of a mentor. Your hero needs it. extra guidance. They need someone that can, they can look up to for advice or help train them for their journey. If you answer mostly B's, like I just did, your secondary character should take the form of a loyal pet. Talking or not, your hero needs a companion that will stay by their side, an animal that can cuddle on their lap, or one they can rely on for transportation. Or if you answered mostly C's, your secondary character should take the form of a sidekick. What is better than a best friend? That is what your hero needs most, a sidekick to whom they can confide in and trust to have their back when things get a little intense. So take a moment to think about your type of secondary character, and then you need to give them a valid, worthy name. So if someone to, were to write a song about them and their heroic deeds, um, what name would that song be singing? That's the type of name you should give your secondary character here. And once you have that, ta-da, congratulations! You have just completed your story's exposition. The exposition is all the background information at the beginning of the story that includes character introductions and the setting. Now, get ready for the rising action. You can pick up these pages at the library, starting on Monday. And there you have it. Here's another slip for you to cut out and return to the library for a chance to win some more prizes.